Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and I hope you enjoy. So this is the video to conclude my labor and delivery and my pregnancy journey. Now I decided that I was not going to actually do a labor and delivery uh, video because I felt although I did mention, you know, making a vlog um, and to some people that had asked. I just noticed that when it came time to upload it and I looked through it, I was just like, you know, this is an intimate moment for me and my husband. We didn't even have family out or anything like that um, as far as being in a labor and delivery room. So I just was like, you know what, I'm just going to do a sit down chit chat. I will share the kids with you guys. So I just decided that I, I would pick a few questions from my Google friends and um, yeah. So my first question was, um, did I have an epidural? And yes, I did have an epidural. I actually got it around five centimeters. Um, they didn't want to wait too long because I was. I, they didn't want me to wait too long because they were twins. So, um, but yeah, five centimeters is the point where I did get epidural. Did you deliver vaginally or cesarean? I actually was able to deliver vaginally, both baby boys. Um, it was a interesting time period in between them. Um, when they were being born, and I'll get that to that a little later in the in the time frame of when they were born. Um, so yeah, I did. I had a vaginal birth. Now I did um, deliver in the OR. So I did deliver them in the OR because again, if anything were to happen and I needed to be, um, they needed to come out ASAP. That was the way the the option that I had. So I had to be in the living room. I mean, the operating room, which I didn't really know that to the end. It was very cold in there, and it was actually a good amount of people that was just in the room, just staring, and they had to be there in case I said anything happened. Um, so it was just kind of like I had more people in my delivery than anticipated, but I mean, it was for the better. Did you have any tearing or did I have any tearing? Something that I found interesting with my daughter, I did have a, um, I guess, first degree tear. It was very minor. I think, I mean, maybe two or three stitches. With my um, twin boys, I actually didn't have any tear. And it was a big difference um, when it came to using the restroom. When you have a tear, you have like a burning sensation. And when I had like, and, and of course walking around and doing stuff, you feel, you know, different. Trying to adjust back to, you know, how you were before. And one thing that you have when you have a tear is stitches. So you do, you do feel that. Well, with my boys, I didn't have a tear at all. So I didn't have any stitches or anything like that. And it was interesting how I was immediately able to do normal things like I literally after I got up and used the bathroom and stuff I was basically fine from then on out um you know it was like I said just getting used to adjusting back um from carrying ba a baby or babies but you know yeah I just I was shocked next question did I eat anything or was I able to walk around the hospital so the first question is did I eat anything so I did have um so we did have a late, um, late dinner. So yes, we did. I did have something about two hours or an hour before I got to the hospital. I would say, um, I did eat. Now, with that being said, I don't think I used the restroom during the labor delivery process. Um, I was also able to have um, Jolly Ranchers throughout the night with my first pregnancy, um, my labor delivery, they, the nurse in there actually told me that it could, you can eat like candy. They don't mind that. It just has to be kind of like hard candy. So that I bought Jolly Ranchers. I was prepared this time. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I did. Yeah. And was I able to walk and me walking throughout the hospital? Okay. So I didn't know this, but from what I remember my nurse, and if you're a nurse out there, like correct me if I'm wrong, or if you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but she told me that because my water had broken, like once I got in the bed and got admitted, I couldn't get out of bed. And she didn't tell me that until after I needed to use the restroom. Um, but tell me if you've heard that before. I'm not saying she's wrong or anything like that. I just, I never heard that you couldn't get out. It was something about like accidents happen, your water, you're leaking. And so I'm not just, just let me know. Um, if you heard that before, it made sense. I just, yeah. So, um, no, after I got admitted, I did not get up anymore until after I delivered the, my twin boys. And next question, what time were your boys born? So my baby A, which his name, nickname, we'll give him a nickname, is, called, is JR. And he was born at 
10 in the morning and Jake was born at 627. Now that time period between them being born was a interesting feeling because it was one of those feelings. Well, first of all, I never felt before, um, but it was that what is going to happen? You know, you always hear, you know, some stories where mom delivers vaginally the first baby, but then the second baby, she ends up having to do a C-section. Like, you never know um, if you have so many emotions just running through your head. So, for me, it was that feeling of, like, I hope everything's okay. I couldn't really enjoy um, Zachary's coming into the world because after I heard him, I was like, okay, he's good. He sounds good. He's breathing. You know, he's crying. He's good. Then it was that set that okay. Now what about baby B? At the time, you know, we didn't. What well, Jake? Did the boys have any NICU time? No, they did not. Thankfully, um, as soon as they basically both were born, um, I had a little skin to skin with Zachary, and then I didn't really get to have any skin to skin with Jake. They kept him um, basically right after he came out. Um, so no NICU time. They. Were How many nights did you stay in the hospital? I stayed in the hospital the night that I um, delivered the boys and then two additional nights, so three nights and four days. They really more so were keeping me because they were keeping the boys. So I said before, I, I believe I said before, the hospital I delivered the twins in did not have a NICU. So I, you had to be at least 35 weeks pregnant to deliver um, at that hospital. And so we went in thinking, you know, everything will be fine. We didn't expect them to have NICU time, even though they were a month early. Um, but with that being said, no, they didn't. They were with me, I'd say, 90% of the time out of the 100% that we were in the hospital. So I had the majority of the time. Now, they did offer to take the twins. They did offer, like, one or two nights. Uh, how much did they weigh? So when they left the hospital, JR weighed 4 pounds and 11 ounces and Jake weighed 4 pounds and 7 ounces. So they did have to go back to the hospital to be weighed um, just to make sure that they weren't dropping much more than what they had before they left because they didn't want them to get too small. Thankfully, they ended up going back and everything was fine. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video.